This is Akashwani. The news read by Anuja Kumar. Campaigning for the assembly elections is gaining momentum in the poll-bound states. In Chhattisgarh, senior BJP leader and Prime Minister Narendra Modi has promised that BJP government will procure more paddy at a higher price in the state. Addressing an election rally in Mungeli today, Mr Modi also promised to give bonus to farmers on their produce. Meanwhile, senior Congress leader and Chief Minister Bhupesh Baghel accused the BJP government at the centre of taking selective action. In Madhya Pradesh, all political parties and candidates are leaving no stone unturned to vote the voters in the state. Star campaigners from all parties, including Prime Minister Narendra Modi, Union Home Minister Amit Shah and Senior Congress Leader Rahul Gandhi are holding rallies and roadshows in Madhya Pradesh today. In Telangana, today is the day for scrutiny of nominations for assembly elections. The last date for withdrawal of candidatures is 15th of this month. Voting in Telangana for 119 assembly constituencies will take place on the 30th of this month. In Rajasthan, in order to ensure easy and inclusive voting for the assembly elections, polling stations will be set up even in inaccessible, remote and sparsely populated areas. Special preparations have been made to ensure that no voter is deprived of his franchise due to not being able to reach the polling station. In Uttarakhand, relief and rescue work continues for the second day in the under-construction Silkyara Tunnel in Uttarkashi District today. Uttarkashi District Magistrate Abhishek Rohela said that removing debris from the tunnel is going on in full swing. He said all 40 workers inside the tunnel are safe and they are being provided with enough food and oxygen through pipes. Uttarakhand Chief Minister Pushkar Singh Dhami also visited the Silkyara Tunnel and took stock of the relief and rescue efforts from officials at the site of the incident. In Telangana, at least nine people have died when a fire broke out at a chemical go-down in the dense Namapalli area of Hyderabad this morning. Over a dozen people who were injured have been sent to hospitals for treatment. President Draupadi Murmu has expressed pain at the loss of lives. In a social media post, President Murmu expressed condolences to the bereaved families and wished for a speedy recovery of the injured. The CBI has sought sanction from Delhi Lieutenant Governor V.K. Saxena to file a case against former Jail Minister Satyendra Jain for allegedly extorting crores of rupees from various high-profile prisoners, including alleged conmen Sukesh Chandrasekhar, to enable them to live comfortably in prison. While seeking a mandatory sanction from the LG, the CBI alleged that a high-level corruption and extortion racket was being run in the jails of Delhi in connivance with the then top jail officials, private persons and accomplices. The Municipal Corporation of Delhi has initiated Operation Clean Delhi today in response to the pollution in the aftermath of Diwali celebrations marked by fireworks and scattered remnants of festivities. Housing and Urban Affairs Ministry said that an extensive post-Diwali cleanliness drive was conducted on the streets. Swachhata workers were activated to clear debris, firework residue and other refuse in open spaces. A waste collection plan was also set into motion to ensure proper disposal of the Diwali-generated waste. Union Minister Bhupendra Yadav today said that the recently concluded Standing Committee meeting at the Convention on International Trade in Engendered Species in Geneva proved to be a major boost for India's wildlife and ecosystem conservation efforts. In a social media post, the minister said that based on India's compliance and reporting, India has been removed from the review of significant trade for Red Sanders tree. United States and South Korea have revised a bilateral security agreement aimed at deterring North Korea's advancing nuclear and missile threat. South Korean Defense Minister Shin Won-sik and his U.S. counterpart Lloyd Austin signed the updated agreement at the security talks held in the capital Seoul today. The key domestic stock indices ended on a negative note. The BSE Sensex ended below 65,000 mark, while the NEC Nifty finished below 19,500 level. And that is the end of this news bulletin.